Well, hello and welcome to uh, After Thoughts, where we discuss what is happening in IPC and uh, we'll talk about different subjects. Today, the subject is uh, safety, and I'm talking here with. Hi, I'm Azumi from Japan. I'm Lozi from Vietnam. Okay, let's get started. First of all, do you. Uh, how. What is your thought about safety at, I, at IPC? Do you feel safe or not? It's safe. Very safe place for me. And so, why? So even if there are a lot of visitors from other countries, so today also we have a guest from India maybe, but like many teachers from Japan as well they came to see IPC, but we feel this place is very f- open to everyone, but I have never seen, I, but I have never felt it's not safety. It's a very safety place for me. Yeah, I also really feel that safe from here. Like, I when I put uh, my phone in somewhere and I forgot about that, but I'm not scary. Like, okay, I will not that like in my country. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, as for me, uh, I sometimes I forget my uh, my things uh, at some place, and actually I've never been stolen despite losing twice. Uh, 500 kroner <laughs> there are always, there is always someone to tell me oh you lost it you put mm-hmm. it there like uh, today I just remembered uh, I lost my shoes actually yeah. and uh, apparently they're in the cozy room so I need yeah. to get them right now but anyway yeah. but um, at, like every time someone will drop or uh, lost something we always using whatsapp no, and to share help, everyone yes. and uh, what, who sees this one and like this and share photos right yes. so that's very good okay um how do you think that IPC maintains its safety? Sorry. How uh, how do you <laughs> feel? Uh, how do you think that IPC mind maintain its oh, okay, safety? Okay, sorry. I mm. think it's so as I mentioned, like if 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 I uh, found something lost thing, mm-hmm. like sharing uh, with everyone is. Mm-hmm. It's no, one true. way to maintain safety, I think. Can we say that everybody here is trustworthy? Yes, I can. I can feel that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um. And how is it in your country, actually? Japan. I think Japan is very safe to place, but it depends on the places. I think like Tokyo and Osaka is very crowded. Pe- crowded. So a lot of people and living in that very small place. So I think the rate of unsafety is higher than the other areas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, in my country, I not really think that's really safety. Oh. Yeah, because I already mm-hmm. have experience by, by my own. Oh, like, by your own? Yeah, by my own. Like mm. I already lost my motorbicycle right. on the streets. Yeah, it's like mm-hmm. just somebody come and break my key and just run away. So. Yeah, okay. I know. It's not. <laughs> that's, so, yeah, that's wrong. Yeah, it happens a lot in your country. Yeah, if mm-hmm. you're not like carefully. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can you get stolen on the spot in your country? Sorry? Can you get stolen on the spot? Like somebody directly steals from you your uh, object in your hand? Uh, yes. Oh. Yes. Like it's level like if I take my phone and go on the streets, like if somebody will take it and run away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, as for Belgium, um, mm-hmm. it really depends. Uh, mm-hmm. Most of the time, we're safe. Well, actually, not we're not safe in big cities. It's actually most of the time it is unsafe in in big cities at night generally because in the day it's all right. Mm-hmm. Um, but I know that we cannot stay in some places at night because it's dangerous mm-hmm. and you can and you can get attacked by some drunk people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're just stolen. Yes. Okay. Um, in the in the place where I live, uh, it's fairly peaceful. Uh, it's the at the um, at the mm. limits of my capital, Brussels, and uh, everybody there is nice. So actually, we can uh, just put our um, bags without even without even without keys even, and nobody will steal it because everyone mm-hmm. has one. It mm-hmm. reminds me a, a mm-hmm. little bit of the Netherlands actually. Mm-hmm. Um. So when uh, I was talking right now about my uh, my experiences mm-hmm. uh, about getting stolen, mm-hmm. you already s- said it that you yes. got stolen. Um. Have you already been stolen? As in- actually, I have never stolen anything in my life. But, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, but being, being stolen. Being stolen. Yes, being stolen. Sorry. Mm. But I think uh, there is a problem. It's not 
related to, to like steal something. So we have very problem in train. So imagine in Japan, we have a lot of people in Tokyo, in Osaka. So like rush hour, commuting people, mm-hmm. a lot of people in a train. So I think for women, I think it's very, um, sometimes we don't want to uh, go to school and office using trains because oh. a lot of people in one train. So, and also uh, touching without consent, oh. uh, without consent by somebody is very problem in Japan. Mm-hmm. That's why I think it's it is all one of the unsafety things in Japan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know that in Mexico, mm-hmm. um, to counter this problem, they mm-hmm. have special um, trains, uh, special pieces like pieces of the train are mm-hmm. for the men and other for the women. Ah, uh, yeah. That's like I think it's a great idea. Yeah, we also have it actually only oh. for. Um, Rush hour, just mm. one or two hours from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. We, we only, this train is only for women. Mm-hmm. So yeah. oh, okay. the guy cannot enter the train. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's a good yeah. idea, yes. Mm-hmm. But that's a bit annoying if you like need to <laughs> yeah. go back to your house. Uh, as for me, have I ever been stolen? Um, yes, I guess. Yeah, no, I, I've been stolen. I just... Wow. Um, uh, when I uh, I was in uh, a lot of time when I just go out of my car not mine my parents car mm-hmm. uh, they tell me to not put my uh, belonging in front of the of the window because the people can see them mm-hmm. and uh, I thought that it was a joke but actually it is not since uh, because two members of my family got mm-hmm. their PC stolen mm-hmm. because someone broke the glass and mm-hmm. just took the um, just the PC so it was really surprising for me because I thought that it was just you know like those old stories about you need to be safe every time. But no, it's actually true. But I mean, like, mm-hmm. uh, I, I I travel a, a few countries in Europe. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I have to say, like, I feel like Denmark is kind of like the safe yeah, Denmark, country. Yeah, because Denmark like, is really safe. Yeah, Nordic because, countries are really safe. Yeah, I know that, mm-hmm. for example, like Iceland yeah, is, uh, the, I think, the safest country in the world. Mm-hmm. So um, Yeah. I, I also think like living here, Helsinger is, is very safety for me. It's it's a, it's like living in Japan. So I feel so happy. <laughs> so like every time I go outside to school, like from to, to the station, there are no people. Of course, there are people, but very small number of cars and the people. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah that's, that's a lot why. Of bikes. A lot of bikes. Yes, of course. Yes. But I, that's why maybe that's why I feel so safety. Living here, maybe? What do you think? Mm, yes, also. No, that's true. And Danish <laughs> people are always also nice. Yeah, <laughs> true. Anyway, uh, thank you for sharing your reflection about um, safety in Denmark. Um, and thank you. And uh, I hope that we will see you next time. Yes. Thank you thank so you. much. Bye. Bye.